Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is game user settings, the save settings node. Let's go ahead and look at the node. This is the save settings node. It's under the game user settings section and it requires a game user settings as the target. Now, since the only way right now to get the game user settings is to use the get game user settings node, this is pretty much how you're going to see them connected together. You get the settings and then you save the settings. Now, it seems kind of weird, but remember getting the settings just takes the ones in memory. It's not the version on the disk. So you're basically taking any changes that may have happened and saving it out to disk. Now there's two things to note here. Let's run this. Here's my example. Let's change my resolution to 1920 by 1080 windowed and hit accept. When I hit accept, it's firing off my save. However, you notice nothing happened. Well, if we go into our folders and we find our config file. So we're under saved, config, I'm running on Windows, Game User Settings. Well, you'll notice our resolution did change. It's now 1920 by 1080, and our full screen mode is 2, which is windowed. However, nothing happened. And if I was to rerun this, well, I need to rerun it in a window. It's still going to be in the other version since I'm not loading up the settings. So what happened? Well, all the save settings does is save it to disk. It doesn't actually apply any of your changes. You would use the save settings in conjunction after an apply to make sure everything's done. But then the apply settings itself automatically saves, so it's kind of redundant. Uses for the save settings, I really don't know. Maybe if you need to double check it's saved, or you want to save some of the settings without actually applying them. Maybe... For example, some of these settings are going to require texture changes or shader recompiles. You may wish to save the settings, let the player know that they are to restart the game, and then the next time they restart it, it's going to go ahead and use the new settings, and therefore uh, might have to recompile shaders or anything it needs to in that case. So that's about the only time I could see using the save settings instead of applying it. And that's pretty much it. That's what the save settings node does. It takes the game user settings whatever you've changed, saves it out to disk, and that's it.